Welcome to this week's edition of What's Up Wednesday. And the first thing to tell you all is it's my birthday. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Are you singing? Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Presents can be sent to us at our office. Just check out anglecrown.com for the office address. Anyway, that's not all that's happening today. Today is Wednesday, which means at 2.30 on Wednesday, our latest episode will be live of the podcast. I'm going to be out. I'm going to be chilling and enjoying my birthday, so it will all be set up. I have no idea what it's going to be. So why don't you go ahead and find out on agencytrailblazer.com forward slash podcast. Now, this week, there is a weekly call in our premium community, and they're going to be talking about version control. And I'm going to share with you an element that you can start applying with regards to your version control of your documentation and your designs, just so you can have a preview of the sorts of things that we'll be talking about. This tip is all around your naming convention. So what do you name the files that you have in your agency? So if you have a design file for the homepage, do you just simply call it homepage and pop it in a folder? Or have you got a naming convention that also allows you to add the version number at the end? So the key ingredients to a good naming convention are as follows. Number one is the date. We have our date to start off the file name and we will do the date in reverse order. You can see an example below in the show notes and that's really useful for when we are ordering the results that we have from a search. The second element of our naming convention is the description. So this is a short piece of text that tells us what is in inside that document. The third ingredient is an identifier. That's the unique identifier such as an invoice reference or a project reference from our project management system. The fourth is our client's name so that we can pull up results based on clients again when we're using search. And finally, the all important version number. We use the abbreviation of VN010203 and so on. The reason we have the version number there is it ensures that we're always working on the most current version of that document. And then we can also attribute that version number to the final sign off as well. So when we're signing off contracts, when we're signing off designs, we can reference that version number as the signed off document or the signed off file ready for us to either design or to develop. So here we're just touching the surface. If you want some more help in understanding how you can be managing the data and the information that you have, then go ahead and join us on tonight's call. You can join up on agencytrailblazer.com or if you want to be part of our free Facebook group, then go ahead and hang out in agencytrailblazer.com forward slash group and that will read direct you to our awesome Facebook group. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember, it's it's still my birthday. <laughs>